here's the latest from the Hurricane Center. This is their 5 a.m. advisory, which there has been some changes uh, since the overnight issuing. Uh, the wind field is starting to grow. This is a very compact storm. I mean, yesterday, those hurricane force winds being 74 miles per hour or stronger only extended about 30 miles out from the center of the storm. Some of these islands are 60 miles apart. Mm. So there is a possibility that the strongest winds lace between some of these islands. That would be our largest hope because unfortunately this is a category three hurricane. Another thing to note this morning is that we are going under an eye wall replacement cycle. So if you just focus on this satellite imagery, Right in It'll the really last frame, yeah, it, it completely clouds over the eye feature. Yeah. And when you have a clouded over eye and you're starting to notice that you have an Work. inner and then another ring of thunderstorms outside of that, that is a new eye wall that is forming. And when that happens, not only can it change the wind field, but of course it means the intensity can come up on the other side of this cycle. Mm -hmm. There's a live look at Barbados this morning. They're actually within the wind field for tropical storm force winds. Right now, definitely some rough surf. The sun is just starting to come up and you can see those dark, ominous clouds. Those are the outer rain bands of barrel. That is a lot of energy when you think about the surf, and a lot of the surf is going to be a concern as well, especially with water inundation for many of these islands, but a lot of those winds will be pretty uh, intense. And it's interesting, when you talk about that maybe 60-mile spread between, say, the Grenadines and Granada, these islands right here, and it may thread right through them. We'll have to watch what it does specifically because it is so compact. Mm -hmm. But look at the hurricane warnings. Extend all the way to St. Lucia. Barbados is included with that as well. And then you watch as it moves over through the Caribbean. We already have some tropical storm watches for for places like Haiti and the mm -hmm. Dominican Republic on the southern side. Uh, and, and that's within 48 hours. Right, so, you know, for everyone that's thinking, oh, well, I have no plans to go to Granada. Do you have a trip to Haiti in the DR? Right. Because they're under a tropical storm watch and those winds are expected to possibly impact the islands within two day time. Mm. When we uh, look at what happens past this point. A big Part of it is going to be the strength of the storm, to be quite honest. Yeah. Uh, if this storm keeps its strength, it is going to be able to take more of a northerly trajectory. Mm -hmm. If it becomes weaker, it would plow it farther down to the south, possibly into Central America. Because the big part of the forecast that we're looking out for would be somewhere south of Jamaica. Midweek, Tuesday night through Wednesday during the day, there's a lot of wind shear present in this part of the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Wind shear tears apart thunderstorms and does not allow tropicals to really hold together their structure, that could be a key component here because if that does really hit the strength of this storm and then we have a weaker barrel, then this is going to be a larger concern for Central America and kind of takes the Gulf of Mexico out of play. Mm. But, you know, to be quite honest, we still have a lot of solutions here that are possible once we get to the Wednesday through Saturday time frame. That's yeah. kind of the iffy zone where, unfortunately, this is going to be one of those storms that they're there's going to be a lot of change to the end of the forecast.